Good morning, everybody. It's Jenny from In Spiritual Journey. And today I want to talk to you about solitude and isolation. Because those are two words that you hear on uh, tarot readings a lot, okay? So, solitude and isolation. They both mean being alone, right? But that is um, the only thing they have in common. Um, so I don't want you guys to hear, you know, you're in isolation or you're in solitude and feel like you need to cut yourself off from the world. Um, solitude is something that you do on your own. You know, you go into solitude, usually it's for like healing or you just don't want to deal with people. You need to be refreshed and rejuvenated, um, especially if you're an empath because you need to step back from uh, all the energy that you're picking up on, right? And it drains you. So you go into solitude, you know, to take time for yourself, for some self-care, for some healing, to uh, contemplate things, um, to get your energy back, to see which path you want to go on. Maybe you got off path and you're trying to figure it out, right? But isolation is something different because that can actually happen if you're in solitude too long. Um, but isolation is cutting yourself off from the world. And yeah, the way things are nowadays, we definitely sometimes want to cut ourselves off, you know, all the opinions and the hate and the ah on your face and, and you can't, you know, speak without people having an opinion of you or wanting to jump down your, th uh, jump, jump down your throat to, to cut you off or be angry at you. So yes, but isolation can be very dangerous because if you stay in solitude or isolation too long or where solitude is going into isolation where you're cutting yourself off from everybody and then you start like fearing going out to deal with people that can be very dangerous because you can start getting sad you can start feeling uh, possibly even panic attacks going out with people not knowing how to deal with people um, you can start getting into depression you can even there's even some people that with if they're in isolation too long can even commit suicide so we don't want that you know we don't want you to be in isolation where you are getting into a mode where you can't deal with society or deal with people or deal with situations anymore um, so be very cautious of that, okay? And, and if you feel you're doing that, because sometimes it's very hard to go step back out into society or deal with people or situations, you have to like push yourself to even go out into like walk through a store or um, go out where people are at, even if you don't know them, strangers, speak to strangers, even if it's just a casual conversation, volunteer. You don't want to get yourself into a spot where you are afraid to face society or afraid to face people. You know, bottom line, humans are very social creatures. And you might say, yeah, I'm an introvert. So, but yes, we do need that contact back and forth with other humans, right? We do need those connections. And everybody, honestly, wants love. You know, that's their general thing. So when you've gotten yourself into a position where maybe something's happened to you, um, or you've just been drained from the energy and you go into solitude, that's a good thing to do healing, to figure out who you are, to find your self-worth to build your confidence back up, to see which path you want to go on, um, to level up, whatever that is, that's good. But if you let it go too far, or if you're cutting yourself off because you're just like, I'm done with people, you know, I don't want to deal with it, this isn't the place for me, and you get into that mode where you're slipping into too long, where you're afraid to face people, you're afraid to face situations, you are afraid to uh, mingle and interact with situations or people, things like that, and you're to the point where you're sad, you're lonely, you're um, depressed, and it's slipping farther and farther, that is not a good thing. You want to put yourself out there, okay? So please, when you hear those terms, like, you know, you need to be in solitude, or if some might say it wrong and say, you need to put yourself in isolation, that is only a temporary thing to get yourself out there. And even if you're still going through that healing process of figuring out who you are, it's still good to go, you know, like I said, go to the store, you know, talk to the cashier, you know, whatever it is, go volunteer somewhere. Uh, um, and that's a good thing too. Volunteering or doing something for someone else will step you out of that issue you have with yourself and take the focus off you and your problems if you're in that kind of mode and put your, your, your need into helping someone else. That, that will help tremendously. It really will. Okay. You might not think so, but it really will it'll give you uh, self-confidence and it'll make you feel good. It'll make you feel grateful. It makes you feel all those things. So just be cautious when you do hear that um, solitude, or some people refer to it as isolation, and it's not saying to cut yourself off completely from the collective or society, because that is not good, okay? And I don't want to see anybody slip farther into sadness, depression, or worse. So that is my spiel on isolation and solitude. 
like I said, it's always good to go into solitude um, sometimes because we do need to figure our own lives out to do some healing, to, to rejuvenate, to do some self-care, um, to cut all that negative energy off of us and all that stuff, but it is not good to stay in it too long where you're in isolation. Another topic that's going to come up with that is lonely and being alone. Two different things. Being alone is good. You have to be comfortable being alone with yourself, you know? I mean, you're your number one person, right? That's who you're living with for the rest of your life. But to be lonely, you have to be cautious about that too because sometimes in alone, when we're lonely, we will um, go to the extremes of just picking up anybody because we don't want to be alone lonely we don't want to be lonely not alone or we don't want to be alone that's how we figure it but being alone it's good we can be alone with ourselves you know like our own company and things like that but if you're feeling desperate out of lo loneliness that is not good because you're going to pick up all kinds of people that are not going to vibe with your energy they might be not good intentions um, might treat you badly might not dis might disrespect you might be very toxic um, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to attract that kind of energy in. Okay, narcissist, you know, especially like if you're an empath, we seem to tend to attract narcissists. You have to um, be, feel comfortable with yourself being alone, but not, you know, that feeling of loneliness, you know, you got to watch that. So anyway, I just want to speak with you about that because I, I've um, seen a few videos where people will say isolation and I'm like, you know, me being a nurse, like in medical field, I know that we sometimes will talk medical jargon and we think like everybody understands us and that's not the case people sometimes are looking at you like they'll agree like yeah okay sure and they don't know what the hell you're talking about so you have to be very cautious because when we are in a frame of like we know what we're talking about we assume everybody knows what we're talking about okay especially if we're rambling on so just be cautious with that because you don't want to put yourself into the uh, desperation of loneliness and you don't want to cut yourself off being in isolation okay so again solitude is very good on occasion to go into solitude to uh, recuperate to do some self-care to regenerate refresh to heal some old wounds to cut that negative energy off of us that we've been dealing with um, things like that very good and spend time with yourself that's always a good thing um, so that's good solitude as well as being alone but being happy being alone you know enjoying your own company getting to know you right what you, your likes are what your needs are what how what an awesome person you are but you know that loneliness and like we all go through loneliness but as long as you're not acting out of desperation you know um you know not so desperate with the loneliness and not cutting yourself from isolation but anyway that's my spiel for today about loneliness and solitude and i hope that gave you some clarity and thanks so much for watching and the support take care bye